Well, folks, we've run into a few snags along the way here in the last couple of days. Uh, primarily, our boom lift is not working as it should. Uh, seems to be a fuel delivery issue, either with the um, likely the injector pump or possibly the little electronic throttle control widget um, that's not working properly. So pretty much it sits in lopes, um, pretty heavy lope at idle and just dies. And then has to sit for four or five hours before it will restart. So hopefully we have a, a spare coming. Um, but in the meantime, we've been able to do some things anyways. Uh, we started getting our uh, door jam or door trim uh, painted. Uh, we got our door jam itself uh, painted uh, Friday evening. A um, couple of coats in there and then that trim will face on here. Um, that'll be all done. We still have to do the other door, of course. Um, we did get more of our gutter hung. There's just a little patch left up there, which of course we need the boom lift for. Um, along the side here, we got the back corner of the lean-to uh, lower roof tidied up um, and a little more gutter back there as well as up. Um, but we ended up just doing some cleaning and organizing. Um, the, the large trim pile that's been in front of Truck Norris here since day one <clears throat> is now gone. And we've sorted out the last few parts. Um, these parts here go over on uh, the one roof uh, edge. These are for the other roof edge. And then this chunk of stuff in the middle is for the remaining parts on the uh, high eave above the lean-to. So that's the soffit and the, uh, the trim there. Um, and then here's just our last couple gutter pieces to go up. So we're really knocking everything out here. Um, we've got our nice little burn pile here. We've cleaned up our junk back there. All of our pallets are nicely stacked up. Uh, I've got a pile of stuff to go to the dumpster here. And we've just been doing what we can with what we got. Um, so it is nice to see this giant pile of stuff gone. That is awesome. Um, again, our last little pile of parts for bolts or screws and, uh, and mastic tape are over there. And uh, back here, we've gotten everything cleaned up too, um, with the exception of the few items in the mud pit. So uh, hopefully that's going to be graded out in the next day or two here. Uh, the the neighbor doing our groundwork also farms uh, and of course that is taking priority uh, this time of year which is perfectly 100% okay um, so otherwise we're gonna go uh, plan for today is hit up the boom lift run that till it stops and then jump in the scissor lift here which hopefully somewhere is harboring my red tin snips that I lost somewhere yesterday um, to find that and we'll just kind of go back and forth between the lifts to uh to get stuff done let's go out here on the edge uh, where it's not as muddy you can see here as well we just have one little chunk of gutter to splice in down there um, all this gutter strapping has gone in uh, which leaves us over here to tidy up this back corner uh finish this up and then that high eave trim as well um, and put that corner box way up there. So we're really knocking it down and I think we've got a plan uh, as long as, uh, well, the weather's gonna cooperate. Another day of 70 degree weather here at the beginning of November, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, but as long as the equipment cooperates, that's kind of been our biggest nemesis the last couple of days, uh, getting things done. So I know the forecast is calling for some <clears throat> colder and possibly wet weather at the beginning of this next week but uh ooh, pardon the allergies uh, but uh be back into the 40s end of the week still not perfect but it's better than 25 and snow so we're just gonna jump to it hey we're back and what it seemed like just a snap of the fingers for you has been probably about a week and a half for us here uh we've had bad weather, we've had problems with our lifts. Uh, big old boomer here had uh, what we thought was a fuel delivery issue. So we replaced all the filters on it and it turns out to be the, uh, the actuator, uh, <clears throat> electronic actuator for the throttle, um, which failed and is a common failure point. So 
Uh, our neighbor got that repaired and dropped it back off for us, and we can continue uh, working on things. Um, not to say we haven't done some stuff in this uh, downtime. Uh, we brought in our uh, Cat5 or our Cat6. So we got our wireless router, uh, just a very uh, rudimentary spare part laying around uh, until I actually bring down a good, uh, a good rack up here uh, and switch and everything. Uh, but we did run, uh, move one of our Ubiquiti cameras from outside uh, to the inside now so we can see in here, uh, which is good. <clears throat> we also moved uh, some stuff around like the horse trailer. So that is now plugged into our 30 amp service and then powering our charger maintainer uh, for that camper, as well as the pop-up camper. And we'll end up running the other uh, outlet from there over uh, for our block heater on the Bobcat. Uh, we did go ahead and set out some pallets for hay. We're gonna run up uh, probably tomorrow and get our winter stock of hay. Um, so that's done. And we also started uh, putting the, uh, the tacky tape on the back of the rest of our uh, exterior trim for the uh, for the ends of the roof line. So we did discover our scissor lift had a fuel delivery issue as well and I had just a, a basic plastic inline filter I tossed in there until I could go find a replacement um, just because that's what was on the shelf. Um, the old steely was uh, pouring out black sludge and goo uh, when I took it out and dumped it upside down. So definitely was plugged up. So we'll go ahead and get this new filter put in and be back to running uh, full steam ahead there as well. So with uh, a couple of nice days of weather forecasted, we're hoping to get the rest of the stuff wrapped up. And I can put this project to bed for the winter, at least until the doors uh, get done. Now we have not built the doors. We're not going to build the doors this winter. This will get plugged up yet. Uh, but there's just uh, too much custom work to do here. Um, around each of these door jams, we're going to uh, put a wood, a wood frame around it um, all the way up and around. But the bigger problem we're running into, or not problem, just things we have to work through, is hinges. So you see here, we've got the trim, uh, the jam trim here, uh, but most hinges, would have to be mounted out here in order to wrap around and open up. So I think we need to find, um, oh, I forget what they're called though, just looking at them too. Um, but they've got a bend in them so you can go out and around and hit that full 80 degree, uh, 80 degree bend or 180 degree uh, opening radius. So that's what we'll have to do there. And again, with the cost of wood being so expensive right now, I just think we're going to let this slide until spring or at the very least, we can work on it over the winter. Um, these are gonna be Dutch doors um, and all four doors. So we have to make accommodations for four hinges per door, a pair of latches on the doors, door frames, and then uh, the door itself would get latched as well so it can open either single or half. So it'll take some planning on where I want the hinge to set if that's gonna be external out here or drill into here somehow. Um, sorry, not the hinge, the, uh, oh, the latch. That's what I'm trying to say, the latch. So uh, otherwise, it's still kind of muddy back here, but all of our gutters are up. Um, so that is promising. All of our strapping is up for the gutters, except for one little piece in the front, which we're gonna wrap that up today. And get the last little few pieces of scrap steel put away. Uh, we did clean up over here, if you remember down there, is our big pile of scrap steel and junk sitting there. So that's all cleaned up and ready to be recycled. Went and tossed that on our old, uh, old flatbed. So we'll get rid of that. All of our pallets are inside. All these things blew away in the 35 mile an hour winds earlier this week. Had to go chase those out. Otherwise, that's about it. So we're gonna go ahead and just get to work on putting up this last piece of gutter right up there now that the lift is done. And then our eave trim, um, just like this, but on the ends of the ends of the roof line. And we did get a start 
with a scissor lift earlier this week uh, down the roof line. But when you get up over the porch, you definitely need the boom lift uh, to be able to get up over the porch. So that is our plan for today is get the rest of that trim on and uh, just keep working away. So here we go. All right, well, we got our last piece of gutter on. We got uh, some of the gutters on the backside uh, sealed up. A um, couple of the rivet holes were weeping, so put some caulk on there. And now what we're gonna work on is getting the rest of this uh, trim up here. So that is our plan. And uh, if you take a look, look at those, maybe tough to see in the camera, but look at those uh, screw lines, how straight those are. Had our nice little measuring jig set up and a group of guys that were good at getting everything done lined up. And even to go up at an angle, those were even lined up. So that uh, noise you hear in the background here is, uh, is our neighbor Dan uh, doing his fall tilling. So, you know, I've said we kind of live out in the middle of nowhere and you've seen just pictures of fields and corn and well, now he's out there, out there with the tractor. So. It is that time of year. We're late into uh, late in the harvest season. Everyone's getting the rest of their crops in and uh, getting their fields ready for the winter. So we're going to keep working along on our stuff here and see if we can get done before winter. So we've got a couple more of these pieces here to put on and then our cap goes on. And then at the top, there is a, uh, a corner box that goes up the very top. So we'll just get to it. So we're back, we've got our first piece of, uh, of trim up here and everything. We already put our, our mastic sticky tacky tape on here last night. Uh, good things to do after it's dark and you can't work outside. So uh, we've gone ahead and measured where this fits in and we have a little bit of overlap for the corner of the gutter here. And what we do is we take our, our duckbill um, grips here and just bend these over to 90 so it tucks inside this front face of the gutter and then you apply some pop rivets in. So here is that duck bill. They've got them in a couple of different sizes. I just picked up a six inch because it was uh, readily available and cheap. So a little troublesome for these tighter corners, probably a four inch or a three inch would have been great, but I grabbed the six because I'm stupid. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, bend those over and slot that in place. Now I'll go and set this thing up top. Ah, look at that. So, with a little more massaging, I'll be able to uh, get this fit right together here um, and get that riveted in place so it looks like one piece when you're looking at it from the ground. So, I've got to put the camera down for that, but uh, let's get that put together.
the fun part here is to uh, be on the roof and drop and not drop on the actual porch. So that's, that's always a fun challenge. Got a little extra here. We'll cut this lap off. Oops, I can touch that up with a little bit of touch-up paint. So be it. Oh, hey, as long as I'm here and I have it, let's do it. Now there is some method when you're putting on your roof sheeting to make sure that both ends of the building, when you go to put on your rake trim, you don't wind up in the middle of a rib or on the end of a rib. Um, I apparently missed that day in class because this should be over a little bit farther, but I am uh, sitting on the high edge or the high rib right here. Um, so it's not quite a perfectly flush uh, mount there, which isn't ideal, but I've got that tacky tape on there and uh, That should be just fine. But what we do now is we take our rivet gun, drill a couple holes, pop rivet that in place, and the same down here below, and then this corner should be sealed. Um, you do have, right here, there's a kind of a stop for the gutters that go in, uh, so water can't run down here. Water runs down off this edge and then back here. Um, so you're not really going to, ah, I painted myself. So you're really not gonna run into an issue of water sitting back in here. So um, no big deal there. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this riveted up and get a couple more screws up this side and go grab our next piece. We're kind of losing our light, so yeah, it's four o'clock in Minnesota and it's getting dark. So we may not be able to get much more up tonight, uh, but we will be back and continue on. And that's gonna nearly wrap up the main building itself. Once we get this the rest of this rake trim on, um, that's pretty much leaving only the uh, soffit above the lean-to roof and a couple of corner pieces back there. Uh, so we're really, really getting down in our number of uh, pieces of trim left. So hopefully with a couple of more nice days, we'll be able to knock it out here by the end of the week. So stay tuned. <laughs> 